terms of moving all needles, I'm not sure too many guys do it better than the former UFC Bantamweight champion Cody Garbrandt. Certainly has fallen on some hard times recently, but skill for skill, still one of the best guys in this division. He's one of the best guys in the division, and you feel it. I call this fight down in Los Angeles, and you can feel that little something extra in the air yes. as Garbrandt makes that walk to the octagon. This is a kid that was a state champion in wrestling as a freshman, second as a sophomore, and didn't wrestle anymore because he wanted to focus on boxing. A A-plus athlete who has done it all in all sports and has the mental ability and the physical ability to once again compete for a UFC title. Some will knock his fighting style when the going gets a little bit tough, but he is as exciting as any bantamweight in the world and looking to prove again that he is among this division's elite. Introductions. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner, presenting the former UFC flyweight champion of the world, Davison Donegera Figueredo! Herb Dean, third man in the octagon Ready. tonight. Good. 32 and 1 as an amateur boxer. He's had nine wins by knockout now as a mixed martial artist. Seven of those have come in the opening round. So you can't sleep on no love in the early going. Cody Garbrandt, he'll sustain a pace over 15 or 25 minutes, but he's a very fast starter. Opponent better watch out for that right hand from Cody here early. Slips the punch nicely there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Just out of range with that left hook. Beautiful body kick. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. All right, well-timed leg kick by him there, and a lot of heavy pressure on that lead leg, and he made him pay for it. Well, we spoke about reach, and the boxer is longer in the arms. The legs are longer than the arms. So by throwing kicks, you can land and stay at range and not run the risk of getting hit by one of those great right hands that the boxer possesses. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Garber. Jump guillotine right away. That is tight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. That rear naked choke is tight. He's working harder and harder to just secure the arm under the chin to make his opponent tap. He's gonna try to take his opponent's back here, and he does. Making all these shots count. Pretty productive with the strikes here off his back. Right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine, 
If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. He's got to start throwing now. Get that good wrist control now. And busy as he looks to improve position here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Figueredo's in half guard now. Now he's going full mount. Scramble, scramble, scramble. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you get up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. The next one, beautiful jab. Great job mixing the tempo and speed of these kicks. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. And they separate. Now we'll see who can get off the This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook. To put his opponent on wobbly yeah. legs. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was. He hurt him pretty badly there in the middle of the round. Got to think he's going to be looking for more of the same here when they get up off the stools. I don't know who it is. I don't know who we're watching fight. But I tell you, as he walks back, he looks like Bambi. When Bambi was born and her legs were shaking, that's exactly how this man looked when he took that right hand. He was hurt bad, John. And the ability to get through that. The ability to still be in this fight shows to his toughness. But if he doesn't change it, he won't get he will not get another chance. Bambi. Bambi. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two is on the way. Oh I mean the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Throws a ball. How about this? Keep going at it. All right, let's go. Oh, perfect head kick there. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Submission now. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Also, how about that position over submission as he bails on the sub? I think that's a great job. You gotta make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. All right, so perhaps he's gonna have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's gotta pay attention now before it gets worse. Davis and Figueredo gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly... 
in a ton of trouble right now. Yes, this is the color time now. Under three minutes now to go round two. Well, you admire the effort there, but the left punch counter is no good. Figueredo's eye starting to scrum now. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Guillotine nice jump. Sometimes our staff guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Well, headhunter, he is not. Beautifully done as he attacks the ground. Strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot. Oh. 90 seconds to go in the round. Figueredo goes for the clinch here, and this is just a means by which to recover. He is stunned. Nice variance on the kicking game. Figueredo's kick is blocked. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse. And it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Oh, the takedown attempt starting to pile up. Here's another one. Unable to secure. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with that. Whoa! He's in a lot of trouble. This is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. So a combination of elbows now to the head. Good clinch will give back up. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. Clipped him with the right hand there. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Starting to do some real... Push kick there to the bottom. One shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. 
Nice jab, follows up with a nice right hand. That shot blocked by Garbrick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Figueredo's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. Outside leg kick. Big left hand there inside. Three minutes now to go in this one. Figueredo strike attempt there. Oh! 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 The jab followed by the right hand. He is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the sweep. He can't miss it, eh? and when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that, and while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. This works. He's doing a great job of recognizing that he's damaging his opponent and he keeps going to that spot. Garbrandt's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. He's got to be careful here. you don't want to be there. Figueredo's really bleeding something fierce now. That cut is not getting any better. He drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Lands with the ground and pound. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Figueroa. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling is really being entertaining. Oh, great transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Cody Garver. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Final seconds of round three. in the books. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's going to have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five, five minute rounds. Quick jab. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Nice strike landed there by Figueroa. 
Well, he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. He landed a big knee. Oh! He's right back. Oh! Hook lands. Oh! Scalbridge oh! definitely taking aim at that cut right now. You see targeting that area that is already compromised on his opponent. Oh, man, how many shots to the head can one individual take? I'm not a doctor, but that swelling suggests there might be some sort of fracture. Yeah, there might be something wrong with him. He's so swollen, he's so beat up, but he's so tough. That is why he's still standing. Normal people could not still be standing in the middle of an octagon fighting right now. Hats off to him for his toughness, but he ain't going to get the job done tonight. He did not address it early enough. Well, no denying the door. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Let's get it to Bruce Buffer now. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 44 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Cody No Love Garbrandt. All right, so congratulations to Cody No Love Garbrandt, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. I thought put it all together beautifully here tonight. He was favored to win this fight but he certainly came through with the performance befitting a champion, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him bolt for that post-fight press conference and immediately call for a title shot as he looks to become a two-time UFC bantamweight champion.